Hello Internet, nice to see you! You requested it in the comments and here it is, how to make music with the Lydian scale. The Lydian scale is super bright and it's an optimist scale, and it's used in movie soundtracks to indicate heroism and sense of wonder. Here's an example. Now the A Lydian scale is A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. The only difference with a major scale, with an A major scale, is the fourth note. In an A major scale you will have a natural D, so here you have a sharp fourth note. As usual, to really hear the sound of a scale, it's not enough to just play it. It's best to harmonize it. So let's see what are the triads in this scale. On the first note I can build an A major triad, A, C sharp, E. On the second note I can build another major triad, B, D sharp, F sharp, B major triad. On the third note, C sharp, I can build a minor triad, C sharp, E, G sharp. On the fourth note I have a diminished triad, D sharp, F sharp, A, and if I wanted to add the seventh I would have a D sharp minor seventh flat five. D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp. We're gonna see this later, it's interesting. On the fifth note I have an E major triad, E, G sharp, B. On the sixth I have an F sharp minor triad, F sharp, A, C sharp. And on the last one I have a G sharp minor triad, G sharp, B, D sharp. Now the most important thing to do when you play the Lydian scale, and also the reason why some people find it hard to use, is that you have to avoid the pull of the major scale. The major scale is a much more stable sound, and we are much more accustomed to hear major scale than Lydian scales. And since there is a little difference between major and Lydian, you have to make sure that you hear Lydian and not major. And this happens with two major scales, not one. So first, you want to avoid playing a natural D note anywhere you are playing the A Lydian scale, because the natural D will make your ear think that you are actually listening to an A major scale, completely spoiling the effect. And this happens typically by mistake, so make sure you don't make this specific mistake, don't play a natural D, otherwise it completely spoils the effect of the A Lydian scale. But that's not all, because you see the A Lydian scale has the same notes as the E major scale, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. The only difference is that in the A Lydian scale we make sure that A is the root of our scale by playing either an A major chord or an A note prominently in our music, while in the E major scale E is the root. So what we need to do here is to make sure that there is no way that your ear could lock in the E note as the root. As such, it's best to avoid playing the E chord completely and to avoid repeating the E note in the solo or hold the E note for a long time. Don't do those two things. I mean, you can get away doing this, this is not an absolute rule, but it's very easy to overdo it and then your ear starts to interpret your music as if it's in E major, not in A Lydian, again, completely spoiling the effects. Now here are a couple of super typical chord progression in A Lydian. The first chord progression is just A and B, and I'm gonna hold the A note at the bass to make sure you hear that as the root. Now this chord progression sound in A Lydian because I'm starting with the first triad and the second chord I play contains my sharp fourth. If the other chords I play did not contain this D sharp, there would be no way to distinguish your chord progression from a chord progression in A major. So you want to make sure that the other chords you're playing around the A chord, at least one of them must contain D sharp. There are only three chords that contain D sharp and those are B and we just play the chord progression with that. Another one is G sharp minor, so I could play A G sharp minor. The 
other chord that contains D sharp is the D sharp diminished triad. In this case, though, it typically sounds best if you play the D sharp minor 7th flat 5 chord rather than just playing the D sharp triad. Again, personal taste, you guys can do whatever you want. Here is A and then D sharp minor 7th flat 5. So now, so far we've seen the A chord, the B chord, the G sharp minor chord, the D sharp minor 7 flat fly chord, and we also said that it's better to not play the E chord at all. The other two chords, F sharp minor and C sharp minor, are very close in sound to A, and that's because they share two notes with it. A is A C sharp E. F sharp minor is F sharp A C sharp, so as you see, two notes in common. And C sharp minor is C sharp E, G sharp, so you see two notes in common too. So, so we could use those two chords to substitute every now and then for the A chord. A longer chord progression, for instance, could be that. A, D sharp minor 7 flat 5, C sharp minor, B, all of them with the bass of A. <laughs> Want to play a lead with the A Lydian scale, again I recommend you try to avoid as much as you can at least the E arpeggio. So try to avoid playing the notes E, G sharp and B together because this may make the whole solo sound in E major as opposed to A Lydian. Now of course you always have the option to play the full scale, so the full A Lydian scale, but I find more interesting if you limit yourself to just a few notes. It tends to sound better and be more characteristic. So here's a couple of tricks. Trick number one is, over an A Lydian progression or just the A chord, play a G sharp minor pentatonic. <laughs> If you look at the note of the G-sharp minor pentatonic, you see that it has the notes G-sharp, B, C-sharp, D-sharp, and F-sharp. So essentially you have all the Lydian scale except the first and the fifth, the A and E. Since the root triad is A major, A, C-sharp, E, the only rest note that you are left with is C-sharp, and then you have all the tension notes of the Lydian scale. These tend to sound quite good and quintessentially Lydian, but it may be strange on your hands the first time you try, because all the function of the notes are different than the one you're used to when you play the minor pentatonic, so the minor pentatonic will sound strange and surprising at first. So, give it some time and it will work. Another option for the A Lydian scale or the A chord is to use the G sharp Hira Joshi scale. The Hira Joshi scale has notes G sharp, A, C sharp, D sharp, E. Or if you prefer, that's just the A major arpeggio, A, C sharp, E, with the major 7, G sharp, and the sharp fourth, D sharp. <laughs> Those are just a few basic tricks about the Lydian scale. If you want to know more about it, like how to play it all over your fretboard, how to remember it and identify it on the spot, how to use it in your music and in an improvisation, then I recommend you have a look at the Master of the Mods guitar course. This is not a book, it's a complete video course made by guitar players for guitar players about scales and mods on your guitar. These courses teaches you practically how to play the scale, how to remember them, how to find them all over your fretboard, where to use them, how to use them to sound great. If you want to learn to write or improvise a solo over any kind of chord progression, then Master of the Mods is the course for you. You can check out the Master of the Mods course on the link on the top right. 
If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and do click on notification, otherwise YouTube will never let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any suggestions, feedback, comments, write them down in the comments. I'm loving hearing from you. And hey, this video was made because of a request in the comments, so ask me what you want and I'll try to make a video on it. This is Tommaso Zillio of musicityforguitar.com, and until next time, enjoy!